Royal Ultimatum. Netflix reportedly telling Harry and Meghan to deliver more must-watch shows in order to receive that $50 million that's remaining in their deal. This is coming as Spotify and Netflix executives were left reportedly underwhelmed by the couple's lack of productivity. Uh, meanwhile, Netflix is cracking down on password sharing and it's sparking family squabbles. Siblings and kids are getting the boot. Shared accounts are breaking up. Is family therapy next? <laughs> we have Fox Across America host Jimmy Fela here with us. You guys, Jimmy. good to see you. Hi. Uh, let me offer you some basic analysis of the economy. Anyone who says the economy's okay isn't paying attention to just how up in arms people are over losing a $12 a month amenity. <laughs> it's not That's about me. the money. This is a bad economic indicator because <laughs> people not about are the freaking money. out. What is it about, though? The I don't understand. The principle of it, that you're taking away something free that we were promised was free. <laughs> I understand, but it's not like it's $800 or $5,000. It's 12 bucks, and people are rioting right now. And this is what I think it's a win, okay? It's a win in one regard. If you're the guy paying for it, you don't necessarily necessarily want everybody else looking at your watch history. Like, oh, I don't think Jenny yeah. wants Lincoln and I knowing she watched Magic Mike 3 five times last week. <laughs> so I think Jenny Fela might be driving this whole thing. But again, uh -huh. when something this cheap raises this much ire, I think it goes beyond principle. I consider this a bad economic indicator. But I, here's the thing, Taylor, you're the principal person, but you get mad at the turnstile hoppers. Isn't borrowing passwords just turnstile hopping? I television? was speaking for Jackie, not for oh, me. Yes, <laughs> what is wrong. even going on here? Talk about family therapy yeah. right here. I'm the password stealer here. Uh, but I, because <laughs> I haven't turned my Netflix on mm -hmm. since they did this, I don't even know if I've been booted or what it tells you or, or whatever. Uh -huh. Just but I do it because... <laughs> world, America, I steal Netflix because I barely watch it. Well, I think this is where it might backfire on them in terms of viewership. Most people don't watch it. Most people like me who have limited free time spend 20 minutes reading all of I the know. potential options on Netflix and then log off. I That's know. my Netflix experience. Right. So I think without the ease of access, they might lose some ratings. Could backfire. Yeah, I hear you. But the reason Timmy, to, uh, Timmy, that's my son, Jimmy. <laughs> well, this guy doesn't have any it's free time is because he's spending so much time eating coal-fired pizza. But watch <laughs> out, it may not work much longer. New York City's latest green push coming for pizzerias. Newly proposed regulations could force restaurants with coal and wood fire ovens to install filters to slice carbon emissions by up to 75%. One local owner who already spent $20,000 on new filtration systems slamming the cost saying, quote, it's not just the expense of having it installed, it's the maintenance. I got to pay somebody to do it, to go up there every couple of weeks and hose it down. The air filter is expensive and it's a huge hassle. Elon Musk coming out against a proposal tweeting, quote, this, this is utter BS. It won't make a difference. Yeah to climate change. Okay, so that's a big setup to say you're going to have to find something else to eat on Friday nights. <laughs> yeah, you know, remember how the Democrats like to tell us, like, the government should stay out of my bedroom. Right. Dude, the government's in my kitchen. It's I in know. my garage. Now it's in my pizzeria. <laughs> okay, but let's be real for a second. The biggest source of pollution in New York City is traffic. Right. And we're not Pizza doing anything not to approach it. In fact, we're increasing traffic by creating more bike lanes and more pedestrian malls where cars used to go. You know what else we're doing? We're taking restaurant seating and putting it in the right lane of the road. Gee, that sounds safe. What could possibly go wrong? But if we were going to be honest about the pizza industry, I'm more concerned looking around New York that the pizza guy doesn't know if he's going to be able to deliver your pizza and live, right. given the crime rate. But I've right. got it. We'll go after the stoves. Right. This is why people flee liberal cities. This is stupid. And I'm not just saying that because I obviously get paid in stuffed crust pizza. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> no. Also, it's not about the U.S. It's about China and India, mm -hmm. the world's other two largest polluters yep. who have to get their act in order before anything that we do even begins to make a difference. Doesn't even matter. We all share the planet. All we're doing in the U.S. is a swimming pool. Dude. We're creating a no peeing section. Oh but my God. I know it's unfortunate, <laughs> yeah, but guess what happened? But that's what it yes. is, and that's how this works out in the end. But you can't have coal fired pizza. <laughs> Way to go. I'll give you something else you can't have. President Biden facing more pressure to participate in a Democratic primary debate. RFK Jr. tweeting a video. Look at this video. It's a video of himself doing push-ups and bench pressing with the caption, quote, get, get in shape for my debates with President Biden. And then, of course, top Hollywood producer Jeffrey Katzenberg reportedly telling Biden to, quote, embrace your age. <laughs> Turn it into an asset. Think of Harrison Ford or Mick Jagger. I am... Uh, this is a legit question. 
Is RFK Jr. giving Biden a run for his money when you're doing push-up videos like that? <laughs> yeah, because the only push-ups Biden's doing is that ice cream pop right. that he used to get oh, from Good Humor. <laughs> but no, he's actually not. He's raising a lot of good conversations outside the party. Yeah. But inside the party, they're just pretending it's not happening. Yeah. Like, it's kind of embarrassing because he's being primaried by multiple members of his own party. And the media, they're just pretending it's not a thing. Like, they don't really want to acknowledge this guy. Which is why if RFK wanted to debate or at least wanted to prepare for debate night, he should just book a dinner reservation because there's not going to be a stage that's going to host him. But when they say Biden should embrace right. his age like Harrison Ford, what does that mean? You CGI yeah. in all the videos? Because the last Indiana Jones, he's a little older, and I don't hold that against him. It's the first time I saw that video for 69. He doesn't look bad. I'm Thank just you. saying. Mm. Yeah, I got to say, the best part of that segment was Jackie's face off camera there. She's like, <laughs> did you know. get a little worked up? Did no. you get Jackie went right back on Bumble, changed your threshold to 69. <laughs> year old men who knew <laughs> good news for somebody uh, quickly are Mondays the new hot button issue at work so we think coming in on Monday well hey we have to but also right. it does create do? creativity a good start to the week uh-huh is that no longer no I don't believe that I think that's just an attitude like all the people who get the Mondays on Sunday Right. You know, like, oh, my God, it's crazy. You, part of the reason you feel that way is it's because it's 1030 and you're still drinking Merlot. <laughs> you know, I don't think Monday is as daunting. I think Monday does have the potential to be the springboard because it sets the tone for the rest of the week. That's why I feel sharper on a Monday. If you book me on a Friday, I'm showing up in a toga with a face tattoo. <laughs> okay, this is the move. I Dear say Monday. Sucker Monday, just Thank for you. us. Yeah, Jimmy, that's nice. Thank you. you guys. Really appreciate it. Rock and roll.